Hi, this is um, Ananda from anandastarangel.com and it's another beautiful day in London and this little fellow here is, is my little dog king, you can't quite see him, he's not quite in the frame um, but I hope you're having an absolutely gorgeous day so today this short video is just to introduce you to a new recording a new transmission which I'm going to make right after this the reason why I'm not actually videoing um, the transmission as I make them it's because I've had trouble downloading the videos onto YouTube um, so I thought I'll just make a short video just giving you a bit of an idea what uh, I'm going to do and then I will record it on the voice memos um, convert it to mp3 and now that's the, uh, that's the cat, one of the cats behind me record it, convert it into an mp3 and then put it down as a link for you to um, to download if, if you wish so today what we're going to do is we're going to connect with the Arcturians who are star beings, light beings and my experience of these beings has always been one of a lot of love and, um, and a lot of healing. So in the meditation that I'll take you through, we're going to connect with them and be asked to take them into one of their light ships. So I've done this before. Uh, I've done this as a group with a, another person who was doing it. And I've done this um, in my workshops at the start of the workshops before the angelic reiki workshops because suddenly these beings appeared in our in my consciousness and i knew that um, we needed to do some work with them first before we continued with the with the workshop so as i was meditating this morning they popped in and the message was you need to create this recording and this transmission so people can get some help if they wish so they are beings of love, they don't mess about, uh, they don't have an ego and personality as you and I have in this form. Um, so if you're, if you're uncomfortable and you don't like it, you don't want it, then they'll just back off. Um, those are the type of light beings, those are the type of star beings that you would like to work with, those who will respect your free will. So. Um, it may take about half an hour. Please don't listen to any meditations whilst you drive or if you're operating any machinery. You need to prepare yourself, turn off the phones, make sure you have about half an hour to 45 minutes to an hour on your own. So really this is time that you can use to take care of yourself, nurture yourself and just be very, very quiet for a little while. Um, I like to think of these as journeys, as a uh, a way of moving but whilst your body is mainly stationary which doesn't mean that you can't journey or imagine when you're dancing or you're chanting but with this particular one um, when I'm doing this guided meditation I suppose my assumption would be that you might be sitting sitting upright in your chair with your back supported or you'd be lying on your sofa or you're lying on your bed and hopefully you don't fall asleep but you know if, if you do then then you do so with with these meditations uh, especially the guided ones just listen to my voice and let it take you and take us to where you need to go and you do need to ensure that when I say it's time to come back and it's time for us to move back um, into this consciousness and we need to come back into our rooms and our spaces and back into our bodies through our crowns then please do that and I will keep an eye out for for you as we do that as well but all this will be in the guided meditation if at the end of the meditation you feel a little bit spacey you do need to have enough water and perhaps you can take a bit of food, have some protein that will help you to ground. You can do some cross crawl, um, but just make sure that before you rush off and drive a car, do anything which needs your full concentration, 
that you actually you feel like you're completely here okay the meditations will take us to where we need to go and it will bring us back and so it's your responsibility when you're back to ensure that you're really really grounded okay so a bit of water take some water take some rest if you need to um, have some protein eat some good food if you'd like to you can also listen to this in nature I'm going to record it in nature so there'll be all sorts of sounds um, but hopefully you know, we'll, we'll still we'll still journey where we need to and your family of light will be around you um, your ancestors will be around you so spirit animals as well all your guides um, and of course when we connect we connect first with our souls and then we connect to the ones who are around us who are offering aid okay what are star beings well I suppose you could call them aliens um, not all of them have a physical form T the, the ones I tend to work with I don't perceive them in a physical form at all they could be light like bodies of light and I, I only work with the ones who are of unconditional love and light so um, just be open to your perception I've seen some or I perceived because sometimes with the visuals it could be a projection of what we think they should look like or what we think they look like um, it can it can it can um, influence our our meditation and our experience of them so when we're in angelic reiki when i run the workshops we try to go beyond that and let go of the visual you know we're, we're, we tend to be very visual um and try to, to sense them through the other senses through the sound um through smell sometimes people feel a change in temperature when these beings suddenly flood the space or the energy becomes much stronger it's not that they're not there or we're not surrounded by so many different dimensions at the same time it's always here it's just that we we have we're closed to that so when we begin to open it feels like they're flooding the space but actually everything everything is here so these um, light beings just just be open they're very loving and the light ship We'll see what we experience today, but I, I tend to um, perceive that they have quite a few spaces where they have amazing crystal healing chambers. Um, and, and so just, yeah, I, I'm not going to say too much for I don't want to influence your perception and your experience of it. So thank you very much for joining me in this. And and here's to a lovely co-creation through love, acceptance, gratitude, and joy for ourselves and for all. Bye for now.